Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wine World TV, the best wine show anywhere. I'm your host, Mark Fusco. Before we get started, make sure you're smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel. Every like and subscription really helps build the channel. Even better, spread the word to your friends about the best wine show anywhere. All right, so welcome to my series of reviews from Domaine Bousquet. I've reviewed several of their wines over the past few years. If this is your first time seeing any of my reviews for their wines, please check out the first video of this series about the Sauvignon Blanc. I cover the background of the winery and the region in that video. All right, so let's just get into the stats of this wine. The 2019 Domaine Bousquet Grand Malbec suggested retail price is $25. It is in the Huateari Valley, Tupangato, Uco Valley, Mendoza, Argentina. It is a blend of 85% Malbec, 5% Cabernet Sauvignon, 5% Merlot, and 5% Syrah. It is a certified organic vineyard made with organic grapes. The grapes are hand harvested. We're at 1,200 meters or 3,900 feet elevation. The soil is gravel and sand. It's aged in French oak for 10 months. The ABV is 14.8%. The total acidity is 6.1 grams per liter. The pH is 3.6, and the RS is 2.7 grams per liter. All right, now with all the info, let's get into the wine. This is uh, the third session. I did the first session a week ago. I did session two last night, and I'm doing the last session tonight. And while I've been doing all this, I'm finishing up all my uh, farming practices videos. All right. This is a really tough one. The cork is really resistant to the uh, Coravin. And one thing to remember is that this needle can get loose, especially if you're like twisting and turning to try to get the cork out. I'm sorry to get the needle out of the cork. All right, color wise, yeah, we've got a uh, kind of you know medium plus intensity. It's pretty opaque. I would call this a you know, medium plus ruby. There is a little bit of that stereotypical like electric pink on the edge. That's usually a major characteristic of Malbec. I know there's more than just Malbec in here, but 85% Malbec is definitely going to influence the color. You know, as far as tearing, uh, we're going to call that medium plus on the tearing. All right, so let's just get into the nose. I call it a medium, medium intensity. It's not super jumping out of the glass. I could smell it a little bit up here, but I really had to get closer to really smell it. Uh, it does smell youthful. I've got mostly red fruits out of this. I've got raspberry almost like a candied raspberry like a little um you know hard shell on the outside i've also got some fresh potting soil there's a spice component to it i also really can smell alcohol like i can smell the alcohol evaporating you know 14.8 you know we're, we're getting up there when it comes into alcohol so it's not it's not shy that's for sure you know i got a touch of caramel got a touch of coffee a little bit of vanilla so the oak's coming through, a bit of baking spice on that. Let's get in the palate. This is really dry. But with that said, the fruit's more ripe in nature on the palate. I've got the raspberry. I've got some, some um, dark cherry. I've also got some blackberry and blueberry on, on, on the palate. Everything's really ripe in nature. I'm also getting a little bit of cocoa on, on the palate. 
So got the caramel, a little bit of vanilla, bacon spices, so the oak's coming through. Fresh soil on it. There's a delicious factor to the wine, but I also feel like the structure is really coming through. So the tannin, I would call that medium plus on the tannin. It's not like super high, but it's, it's, it's not shy. The alcohol, I really kind of get a little bit of whiskey lactone, even though this is French oak and whiskey lactone is more for American oak. I can feel the alco alcohol on, on, on the palate. Wine is in balance. We've got, I would call this a kind of a medium complexity, medium plus in the finish, which is really kind of framed by the alcohol and the tannin is really like prominent. So, I mean, it, it, it lingers. I get a touch of herbaceousness out of this. Scratch that, reverse it. Strike that, reverse it. I have, um, I think it's more of a, a bramble rather than an herbaceousness, like, like, a, like, you know, the brush or whatever. So I get more of that uh, on the palate. And while I call this more of a medium complexity, I, I think, I think it's a kind of closer to a little bit medium plus. There's a lot going on with this wine. And I think this wine, like a lot of the red wines, is a wine that really, really needs food to go along with it. And I think the intensity of the wine, especially the alcohol, really needs to have something to balance it out in the form of food. There's definitely a deliciousness of the wine. I think, I think it's a really well-made wine. I like it. I think there's a slight jamminess to the fruit. I know it's, it's ripe, but I think there's a little bit of jamminess to it. I think that's Again, framed by the alcohol. I know I keep focusing on that, but it's it's not it's not hiding. You know, the alcohol is not like you're not like oh wow I don't I don't taste the alcohol I don't feel the alcohol. No, you feel it. This you can feel the alcohol in this, and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there's a bit of rustic quality to it. <laughs> so, bottom line, I think it's a good wine, and um, if you like Malbec, I think this is up your alley. If you like Malbec, Malbec isn't like the well, it's like a grip I just don't ever seem to like totally connect with. I think what it is is like it acts so much like Cabernet Sauvignon with a little bit of Merlot in it. And there's a lot of things about Malbec that, that kind of make it, for me, seem like other grapes. So I have a hard time personally calling Malbec unless I see that electric pink color. And if I see that and I remember the electric pink color, then I'm kind of like, well, it's probably Malbec. Or at least I'm at least going to throw it in the conversation just in case it is Malbec. But I've called so many Malbecs other Bordeaux varieties over the years. It's like, I, I yeah, I rarely ever call Malbec on it. But I think this is exactly what a Malbec is like. I think it, 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 it has all the characteristics. I also know what it is, so I'm, I'm forming my, my evaluation as far as does it taste like a Malbec based upon that I know it's a Malbec. But yeah, I mean, I think it's a good wine. All right, so that's going to do it for today's show. I, again, I, all the other shows on this one, I want to thank my good friends Kate and Jane over at Creative Palette for supplying these wines and their continued support of the show. And if you enjoy what I'm doing here, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and then tell all your friends. Until next time, have some cool Malbec.